Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. We continue with 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Today we pick it up at verse 4. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day would overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. For those who sleep do their sleeping at night, and those who get drunk get drunk at night. But since we are of the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation. So Paul is continuing and he's reminding us that we are no longer children of darkness. We are not children of this world. We are children of God. We are born again into his kingdom. We are born again into his family. So we are children of light. And the day will not overtake us. It will not surprise us because we're living in an anticipation. We're living in a hope that Jesus will return. Uh, the first Christians used to pray, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. That's our prayer. Come Lord Jesus, come quickly. We're looking forward to when he comes because then all our problems will have ended. We are sons of light, sons of day, not of night or of darkness. So Paul says, let's not be asleep. Let's not sleep like others do, but let's be alert and sober. For those who sleep do their sleeping at night and those who are drunk get drunk at night. And I think here drunkenness not only refers to uh, alcohol, but being drunk on the philosophies and thoughts and ideas of this world and being caught up in the whole system of this world that you do not see the light. We see that more and more and more. We see how things have changed in this world as people have become drunk on themselves, as they become um, so self-centered on their own egos and just putting their own needs above everybody else. And they just it's like being completely drunk and unable to discern what's going on. Paul says, we're not like that. We are awake. We're looking forward to when Jesus will come. We're going to be ready. Just think about if you are waiting a, a visitor, maybe someone from overseas, and you're standing at the terminal, you're, you're waiting, you're waiting for them to come out. And in that way, we look out every day at the sky and we think, well, maybe today Jesus will come. We're waiting for him to arrive. We're looking forward to that day when all of our hopes will be fulfilled. Satan will be thrown into the lake of fire forever. There'll be no more sin, no more death, no more illness. What a great thing to look forward to. Since we're of the day, let us be sober. Put on the breastplate of faith and love and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. We'll look at those things a little bit more uh, tomorrow and in the days to come. But for today, we are living in the light. We are looking forward. We are anticipating every day. This could be the day that we meet the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us be sober, let us be awake, let us be continually in his word, let us be in prayer, let us be in fellowship with one another, worshipping God and looking forward to his return. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. And we want to join our voices with the voices of the birds behind me today, Lord, that are just singing your praise as they greet the new morning, as the sun starts to rise, the birds start to sing. As we rise, we want to sing to you as well, Lord, and to thank you for all the wonders, to thank you for all the marvels of creation, to thank you for everything that you have given to us, to thank you for your amazing grace, your incredible love. We thank you, Lord, that we don't have to live in darkness, that you have taken us out of the darkness and into the light, that we can see things through your eyes and through Lord, the scope of your word, we thank you for your word. We believe that your word is truth. We ask your blessing over this day, Lord, as we look forward to you coming, we pray, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. May we be awake and ready to greet you when you break through the skies. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for our governments, we pray for our country, we pray for our leaders. Every day as we open the papers, we see the news and we see how confused people are, that they really are drunk on the systems of this world. Lord, would you open their eyes? Would you help them to see? Would you help them to discern? We pray for good leaders. We pray, Lord, for honest government. We pray, Lord, for your protection. We ask, Lord, that you would be with those who live under tyranny. We pray for those who are living in fear. We pray for those who are living in war-torn areas in the Ukraine and also, Lord, in Israel and Palestine. We pray for peace. We pray for a cessation of hostilities. Lord God, Heavenly Father, have mercy. We pray for those who are suffering for their faith. We pray, Lord, forgive those that persecute them. They don't know what they're doing. And we ask, Lord, that you would just continue to strengthen our brothers and sisters. Help us, Lord, to walk in peace. Help us to be those who shine your light wherever we go. We lift up before you the sick, the dying, the poor, the needy, the homeless, the helpless, the lost, especially the lost. We pray that many would turn to you. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who 
are simply struggling in life that you would help them. I pray for every listener. I, I truly thank you for them. I thank you for these opportunities to bring your word every day, Lord, to their hearts. And I pray that you would just strengthen them and meet their needs. And you know the, the fears, the doubts, the anxieties, the different things that come upon us. And we just entrust it all to you. Because Jesus, you said, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. So we come to you for rest. We come to you for direction and peace and joy and hope and love and everything else. Lord, we love you and we thank you that you love us. Bless our loved ones, we pray. And now, Lord, we can combine all of our prayers by praying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.